I'm Tom DeShield, Director of R&D at Matrix Shafts. And today we're gonna answer some questions we got from the feedback from the Hackers Paradise Shaft Tech series. Today we're gonna talk about torque and then the overall weight of the shaft. Now torque is probably the most misunderstood property of a shaft. And really torque is just the resistance to twisting. Now torque is independent of flex and with a graphite shaft you can manipulate the flex profile and the torque profile independently without influencing the other. Now what we have here is a torque profile of a shaft calculated by the cross-sectional properties of the shaft and the shear modulus of the shaft. This torque profile is dominated by our bias ply. And if we want a higher or lower torque, we will use either different materials or change the shape of that ply. If you want to think about torque, if you have a built club and you grab onto the grip, grab onto the head, and start twisting the head, a high torque shaft is going to let the head rotate more and a low torque shaft is going to let the head rotate less. So how does a player perceive that? So a player perceives a low torque shaft probably as being a stiffer shaft because it may feel more harsh to them because the head is not going to rotate as much before it transmits some of that feeling up to their hands. And a high torque shaft is going to let the head rotate more. So how does torque influence a player during the swing? A higher torque shaft can help a slower swing speed player position the club face more square at impact, whereas a faster swing speed or a stronger player may need a lower torque shaft to help them position the club face more accurately. Uh, which is a good reason to always see a club fitter and try some shafts out before you choose the one that works best for you. Um, the last thing we're going to talk about is overall weight. Now people have asked what's the difference between a 60 and a 70 gram shaft? Well, other than weight, there doesn't have to be any difference in the shaft. By manipulating the plies and the materials we use, we can get the same stiffness and torque for a 50 gram shaft, a 60 gram shaft, 70 gram shaft, 80 gram shaft. Now, all those shafts will definitely have different prices because of the materials that are in them. But if you wanted to have a shaft of three different weights with the same stiffness profile and the same torque, that can be done. Normally, as weights go down, your torque value will go up because you want to enhance the feel of that shaft. So you want to have a higher torque value. So. That's it with our questions. If you have any more, please send them in and we'll answer them. Thanks.